Hello everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, in the last episode, we completed Teach's Ascension Quest, and there's more to his backstory, but we're going to save that for another time. In this episode, we're going to go and do Fiona's quest, which I guess it just automatically went to as soon as I fast traveled here, so let's see what we got. I wanted to change so I could stay together with my friends. But all I do is wallow in my own misery. Just not getting anywhere. I hate this. I keep missing you, Irma. And I hate that too. I suppose I should say what I did off camera for Fiona's stuff. Um, there were a couple, I think there were a couple of quests. Um character specific quests for her that she had to take care of and it had gotten to a point where everyone was wondering what had happened to Irma and she's eventually going to have to tell them the truth so this is all, it's finally bubbling up and uh, she's going to have to learn to trust her friends with the truth most definitely Oi, turkey bun Huh? You, you mean me? Who else would I mean? You're the dummy hurting your friends and yourself and then pretending not to notice. It ain't like you. I thought you wanted to build a new future for Colony Mew. I know, all right? I know things can't stay like this much longer. But I'm just so scared. I don't know if I can make the right choices. I feel like I'll make some fundamental mistake and it's terrifying. Even though we're here. If you can't figure it out yourself, that's when you put your heads together with others. You even think of that? I agree with my colleague here. Though I must point out that putting his head with others may have adverse effects. This whole game is just tie on roasting the hell out of lawns. Watch it. Hey, I know being afraid. Trust me. But a worry shared is a worry have, yeah? We want to help you, Fifi. Sani, that's so nice. If Manana can lend wing with anything, please say Manana Banana. <laughs> All right. You don't have to wrestle with everything alone. Next time you forget your friends, I'm going to call you Fiona Featherhead. But that okay. That's so cute. Manana also wants to be called. I'll have to come up with something special for you. Oh no. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Everyone, thank you. Okay, so about the flowers for Irma. I cannot grow flowers for Irma. What was that, Goo? Instead, have to bury this. Goo Goo asked by Irma. The hell is that? Like one of the keys from Fairy Tale? Huh? What's this? Tariku look like key, maybe. But also looks super old. A key? But what does it unlock? Hmm. Didn't you say she used to wander off someplace? True. Ah. So maybe this is connected somehow. Goo, did you hear anything else? Sorry, but nothing. Irma was woman of many secrets. Well, in an absence of obvious leads, we'll just have to gather information ourselves. Yeah. If possible, who was connected to Irma? The Arithia relay base. Irma was meant to be in charge of this whole region. We may come across Arithia relay base, huh? You think she left? I haven't been there in a while. That was that was hell cuz I just couldn't win anything there. If she'd left anything, it would have been camouflaged at the time. Now, however, the effects of her power won't work anymore. True, very true. So there might be something different? Might Interesting. Be something that was hidden before. Even without leads, should still go. This is fun. Scavenger hunt. Might discover more about steps of Irma than Fiona knew previous. I suppose I should move the microphone a little bit closer. There we go. Someone's being unusually nice. Lance can fix own power frame from now on. Damn. What did I say? Uh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. You laughed. That's a good start. Let's go to Arithia Relay Base and check it out. All right. 
We'll look for information on the terminal in the data archives, like before. Good with me. All right. Fast traveling we go. Where where was it? Oh, it was over here. I went too far. Oh, all the way inside, huh? Guess we're going into this named grave here. I did beat this up with Soul Hacker. I did not off screen. I guess I should state that I did not go and fight any more named enemies. So, I have absolutely no idea um, where to get all of the shards still. I will probably have to do that after this recording session. Uh, but yeah, that's for me in the future. Looks like we have to fight these guys because uh, can't get in there otherwise. Where are my friends? What are you doing? Why are you down there? Do I have to fucking... Okay. They can attack from down there apparently. I also have one more surprise to show you guys after we get done with this battle. It's something that we have been putting off for a little bit too long. Oh, well there goes that. One guy down. Go ahead and take this guy out that's weak. And lastly... And there we go. There's probably more inside here. There's not, actually. Cool. Uh, let's go into the normal menu. And if you see here, guess what? I bought the expansion pass. So, we have the ability to get Eno here, the new hero. Um, let's see what this is, though. So what do we got? Expendable items, accessories, and clothing. I don't want those. I specifically don't want those no pun coins because I'm already full. It wouldn't really do well to do something like that. I would need to go spin some before I do anything. I will take the clothing, though. Absolutely. And... Hmm. It looks like I really don't have much of a choice. I have to use these Nopon coins if I'm going to do something. That sucks. Uh, what do we got here? Challenge battles and new hero. Brand new hero joins the party. You will be able to experience a fresh quest line and add a completely new class to your roster. And find special challenges await pitting you against mighty foes. Finding success in these will enable you to obtain special rewards, including beachwear costumes. Yep, um, I'm assuming that's with the Nopon Arch Sage like it normally is, but I don't know where that is. I don't know where the Nopon Arch Sage is, so... Not sure we want to do that stuff until post-game. We'll probably wait. Uh, we will grab Eno at some point, but yes, I am going to definitely wait um, until I spend these Nopon coins at a campsite or something to grab that, and then I will equip everyone with their new costumes, their new color schemes. Really 
worried. <laughs> you suck, Riku. <laughs> Rickles. He's Pickle Rick. Even if you're not great at something, your friends can always cover your weakness. I can't believe I said that with my own fucking mouth. I don't even watch that show. Jesus Christ. Here they come. We'll never let them through. I mean, you guys are weak sauce, so... This will be fine. Honestly, doesn't matter. We have two signifers. Signifers, whatever the hell you want to call them. I will never understand how to pronounce that on my own. I'll have to look it up. And I refuse to look it up, so. I guess we're at a standstill, huh? Target this one. Do we have like. Okay, we have three healers, two defenders. That makes sense. Okay. I was hoping that we didn't have too skewed of a party. Because I like to just make it 3 2 2 in terms of rolls. You'll notice that I never really take too big of a, a risk going one way or the other on things when it comes to strategies for games. It's just kind of my thing. Doesn't matter the game, just how I do things. Right? Riku and Manana also cleaned up over here somehow. Well, I'm glad that Manana's console had the Teletubby button so she knew what to press. <laughs> A large-scale map of Agnian territories. Must be strategic military information. Sure, fancy. But how do we pinpoint where Irma might have been from this? Please to direct complaints elsewhere. Security much too tight to crack. That sucks. It seemed locked even more tightly than last time. Seriously? Oh, sparks. No, hang on. How about here? The map showing a military installation. Huh? But there was never anything there. Is Map wrong then? No. The management system is still functional. There's something here. No mistaking it. Huh. Then we should definitely check it out, Fifi. Interesting. Petulia Bay door. Uh, area map. There we go. Brain, no work. In in the morning. I record this stuff kind of early in the morning. You know, I've been there, it looks like, but I never went there. Here's the inlet camp, by the way. If you were wondering where Riku and Manana's stuff goes... So it should be just right over here, huh? I never knew this existed. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Yeah, it is a little confusing, isn't it? It's just on this ridge here. I also never knew that there was a door here. I guess the I guess the door wasn't here before when I checked. I'm curious, but scared too. The mask. Is this huh. A console's mask. A smell of mystery very strong in this place. Must be secret base. Hmm. Looks like there's a document on this shelf as well. 
and then just some supplies, some boxes and stuff. What's this? Irma's private data. And here, someone else's. It could be the setting she used for her aliases. This may have been her trying to decide what kind of person to become. She also might have needed to disguise herself as someone else when dealing with Kevets. Here's a list of targets for harvesting, and it seems to include Kevesi people. She must have served as consul for Keves, too. The periods when she disappeared must have been times when she acted as a Kevesi consul. That's pretty creepy. Fifi, how are you holding up? I wonder what consul, or I wonder what colony had her as a consul on Keves' side. Because we, I mean, we've cleared out all the, all the ones that we can get heroes from, at least. I don't think there's any other colonies that we can actively go for. I should have known we'd find something. So why... Why does it hurt so much? It must be really hard for you. You must feel like you're getting knocked down time and again. But still, you've decided you want to know the truth. Am I wrong? No. That's precisely it. I decided I didn't want to forget, even if it hurts. Still, a bit early to be making decisions, though, huh? True, true. We not use key yet. Friend got to keep it together. Fiona already learned they're more in world than can see with eyes. Yeah. Thank you, Rickles. What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it trauma? Sounds like trauma. It's this box. <sighs> a seashell and glass and some thingamajig they're from me gifts for her birthday damn the shell is from when we found matching ones and this a charm we all made together they've been stored carefully they were important but she wanted them locked away. Her feelings. It would be a whole lot easier if we just pinned her as bad. Problem is, though, that'd be missing the whole point. It's hard to sort fact from fiction. That's why we're stuck, humming and ahhing. Have you found it now? What matters? To make it through. She reminded me at the very end. And our promise. It lives within me even now. Friend can keep promise. Yeah. Finally. I understand. Irma. And this? We're just gonna leave it. Hmm. It will be easier to show everyone, rather than just telling them. So you'll tell them what the deal is? Some won't be able to accept it, I'm sure. But still, for the new colony Mew, we have to be strong enough to face anything, even things we don't want to see, unless we can overcome that hurdle. I think we won't be able to really change. And that... That's what Irma taught me. Are you alright? Thanks, Henny. I'm fine. Irma's not with us anymore. But the things that she left for me are many. The colony, my friends... I'll protect them with all my might. Come on. There's a lot to do. Starting with telling the truth, please. Some relationships changed. I guess there's just I can just look at these now. 
It's a list of individuals harvested from your ever Agnes and Keves. What's that? There's an X next to the names of everyone from Colony Mew. Hmm. So she planned on killing them all. I think we already knew that though, didn't we? Looks like the details are laid out here. Name, term, gender, the lot. Is that the data for the soldiers Irma was posing as then? A little box full of memories. I bet she couldn't bear to part with this. Caught? Was she staying here alone, maybe? But there's no bath. I mean, I guess you just have to wash in the ocean. It looks like the times and destinations of the console visits are logged here. Interesting. Just a nice bit of stuff that we can interact with. Uh, that's the Asia region. That's up at the castle. So it was just a little bit north of Colony Mew. Interesting. Aya, everyone, I've got something to say to you all. I'm sorry for the worries. I wasn't sure if I should tell you about Irma. Did something happen? We thought you were just out of sorts. That you were trying to get over her death. There's more to it than that, then. Yeah. I couldn't... I couldn't face it. I just didn't want to see you all hurt. I was only seeing what I wanted to. I think... I think doing that only hurt you more. Hang on. What's this about? You didn't do anything wrong, Fifi. Irma was wrong, but she wasn't the only one. I keep forgetting that character has Nia's voice actress and it confuses me. <laughs> I want to start again. Work to rebuild it all. I want to come clean. Will you hear my story? I'm a lousy commander. Sorry. Oh, come off it. We're the ones who should be sorry. We're letting you struggle alone. It might take some time. Is that all right? Of course. <laughs> we'll help you shoulder it. Of course we will. We all will. Wow. She sure is brave. She's such a crybaby. She was afraid of making mistakes before now. Do you think she's over that? Eh, I doubt it'll be that easy. Yeah, probably not. So what if she does? At least now. She knows she won't be staying wrong for long. Really yeah, happy. she's got people to rely on now. People to set her on the straight and narrow. We could learn from them. Yeah. Lovely. The end of a journey. Some relationships change. All right, and uh, the colony is like a smidgen away from being level four. For some reason, some there's change. still tons more to do with this colony. Considering that, I mean, you've got to have a way to get it to level five, right? I'm just going to go ahead and talk to these people real quick so that I can get... I honestly don't care too much about what they're saying. I'm just trying to get a couple of points here. What happened with Irma came as a shock, but this ain't no time to be down in the dumps. I'm sick of not being any help to Fiona. She's the one going through the worst of it, after all. Too true. It's our turn to be strong and dependable now. Ah, so more quests. More quests after the Ascension. Just go ahead and grab this while I'm here. I don't know where the other one is, of course. 
Oh, it's over there. Oh, Nico! Gorgeous. Nico! No. Hilda Marie! Goo goo! Some relationships changed. That's fun. I guess I have to talk to Lotus. Hey, look at this! Yep, that's a bit of broken wood, all right. No, really, look at it. Don't you find the shape interesting? If you polished it up all nice, it'd make a cool plate with a handle, don't you think? That's a really cleanly broken bit of wood, huh? Though it speaks more chopping board than plate to me. Wait a minute, there's something written on it. Huh? Where? Oh yeah, you're right. It reads, need help. <laughs> Where did you find this thing? On the hidden coast. All kinds of things wash up there. You know, if that was someone's distress signal... Maybe some other clues washed up on the beach? Let's go have a look. Ooh, okay. That actually sounds interesting. I might actually do that one on screen. Shoo! Nope. Nothing for you, Shoo. Uh, is this the other one that we need for the quest here? Nico and the others have been looking busy, haven't they? There's been a real get-up-and-go attitude in the maintenance crew. Guess they must want to feel useful to the colony. That's so? Then why don't we lend them a helping hand? Good for them. And that's a new topic. And now we know things. True. We do know things. Uh, where's the hidden coast? Is this the hidden coast? Is that what they call the hidden coast? Or is this the hidden coast? Because it's like hidden over here. It looks like it is because there's lots of magnifying glass stuff that we can look at over here. So let's go see, why don't we? Yoink, jump down here. Wind blown cargo. That's a new one. Hey, is this another bit maybe? One. Two. Three and four. Fantastic. Uh, let's go talk about it. Just quickly going back and forth here. Nothing to see here. I can't draw. It. Well, I can't fix my clothes while I'm here, but I can discuss stuff, which is just fine. So, two quests here. Let's grab this one first. I gotta say, I was worried for a minute there. But it seems like the mood in Colony Mew has really changed. Don't you think so? For sure, it feels like everyone decided to take on some degree of responsibility. I'm so glad it all worked out. Hold on, I'm getting a message. It's from Colony Mew? Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Where are you right now? Ah! Wait, don't go! Stop it! Someone help! What's going on? Hey! Spock it, I lost them. What was that all about? That was Tussie's voice. It sounds like something's wrong. Let's go check it out. Hey, we gotta talk. So, we have these th three wood pieces. That, Reese, and what? <laughs> What? You what, mate? <laughs> then there's the need help piece that Lotus picked up. And last of all are random looking numbers. Hmm, could what come before Rees? What? <laughs> Water? <laughs> Water! The other two pieces don't even make that much sense to me. Wait, what if we put spaces in between some of these pieces? Put a space near the end of there to get the... And then put a space in front of the other T, then we get the two trees, right? 
That sure sounds like a landmark to me. If so, these two trees can't be any old trees. There has to be something about them that would make them a landmark. All that's left to figure out now are these numbers. I found an island that fits that description. Sharing it with you all now. Go, Tyon! Talk about quick. How'd you narrow it down? All I did was input those numbers into my Iris's coordinate system. It's nothing to be that impressed by. Th that little grin you've got tells a different story. Heh, <laughs> you're not exactly great at hiding how you feel, you know. Stop staring at my face. It's creepy. Teasing aside, though, that was, like, seriously impressive. Now we can go get- Now we can go help who sent the message. Let's head to where the coordinates are pointing to. We're bound to find our two trees there. Oh, I almost knocked my headphones out of my ear. Ugh. There we go. Cool. We found... Something fantastic. I'm ready to take on the... You're refreshed and ready to take on the world, huh? Um, I just wanted to go over here and clean my clothes real quick. And then we'll go after this person that's on the island. See if we can help them. No one can fight on empty batteries. Clean the clothes. Fantastic. Everyone got their strength back. We definitely have our strength back. Let's see here. I could do that. Or I could go here to this distress signal. You know, I didn't have this island unlocked yet, but now I do. Fantastic. Nira Nira. Meh meh. Eyes no deceive, Nira Nira. Other pawn came to help, Nira Nira. You know, I thought about that for a second. I was like, wait a minute. They couldn't have been stuck on this island if they had an iris, because they could just communicate with whoever they were in a colony with, right? That would that would be the easiest way to get not stuck here, but because they're a no pawn, they don't have irises, so. So you must have been who wrote the message on those wood pieces. Yes, was Nira Nira who wrote message that float on sea? Must strike iron while news is still hot topic. To Quicksand Island, a go-go. Hold there, Furball. Did you say Quicksand Island? Is target destination of Nira Nira. Want go there at all cost is why Nira Nira sent message to sea. So then, it wasn't a distress signal after all. It was a call for help to find this island you're after. Was obvious from start. What else need help on message mean? But... Why didn't you just head back to the continent yourself and ask someone to help? Because tiny boat near and near rode on break to itty bitty pieces. So you did get shipwrecked then. I'd call that distress, furball. Broken boat not calls for distress. Such thing only natural part of journey. Near and near need heed call of romance. <laughs> what the Titanic? I can't say I'm convinced by your reasoning, near and near. Therefore, we'll accompany you to the island, considering you've got no way of returning home anyway. Many thanks to friends. Now come here. Now here come near and near a quicksand island. You're literally going right over there. That's that's where you're going. You are heading right there. All right, fine. I don't even need to drive there. You're you're literally going right here. This is your quicksand island. You can see it. It is right there. Why did you need help? It literally looks like it's just full of sand. Oh boy. What is this gonna do? This quicksand! No doubt that this island near and near after. This is discovery that make feather of Nira Nira stand on end. Such thrill. Wait, no. What if you get caught in? Such romance. Stupid furball. He's got some legs on him though. I'll give him that. Doesn't make it any less dangerous for him to be walking around on his own. You're right. Let's chase after him. 
Uh, no pawn. The cause of everything's problems in Xenoblade. Kidding. Maybe. A little bit. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they just randomly dropped at the end of this game that no pawn are the cause of death and destruction the world over. That's the reason why they are around in every world and other races aren't. He's about to fall in. <laughs> ha ha! There he is! <sighs> Nothing! Stop near and era and pursue! Romance! Goodbye. Meh meh! He literally ran straight into quicksand. W we've gotta help him! We're pretty much knee deep in this ourselves at this point. I mean, what did you expect? Honestly, what did we expect? Whee! Down we go. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Hey, furball! What the spark were you thinking running straight into quicksand? You could have been killed! Meh meh. Nira Nira, so embarrassed. But embarrassment not stop Nira Nira last time on island. Nira Nira not fail next time. Investigation must continue! Investigation? What are you investigating? Nira Nira after landmark that in risk of ruin completely. Nira Nira want friends not to stop Nira Nira in honorable pursuit. Oh, we weren't thinking of that, believe me. Thank you, friends. In middle of island is Foranus. We make next meeting there. This guy, dude. You're making me fast travel all over the place. Jesus Christ. Did I... I clicked the... I clicked the fucking camp. <laughs> So, this is the landmark you've been wanting to see? Yes! As friends see, we too late to see Faranus before destroyed by event of annihilation. Is this Faranus special to you? Really, not all that extra special. Not so special, but... Nira Nira still not want it to vanish off existence. I'm not sure we can do anything to reverse an annihilation event. This may be the end of its material existence. But it can still live on within you, Nira Nira. Nira Nira, not understand. How could big Faranus be inside of little Nira Nira? I don't mean the Faranus itself, but its memory. You said it yourself you didn't want it to vanish, right? Then how about taking those feelings you have and doing something with them? M meh? Is this what Nira Nira think? Is this romance? I don't quite know if that's the right word for it. Nira Nira, understand now. Much to think, spectacle friend. J sure Though investigation of Nira Nira complete, there one more thing Nira Nira want to do. And that think friend who found signage of Nira Nira. You mean Lotus? Is that name a friend? Would love to meet. Then let me guess. Please do bring Nira Nira to friend. No surprise there. Still, I also want to meet up with Lotus. We have to thank her for helping us out after all. That's a good point. We all may as well head back to Colony Mew then. What the fuck is this quest? <laughs> you know, I thought this would be extraordinarily interesting. <laughs> and it turns out this is literally just take the nope on around on a gallivanting adventure <laughs> and make sure he doesn't get eaten like a snack before bedtime. Don't you think that Nopon look tasty, though? I mean, you don't expect them to taste like meat. You just expect them to taste like candy because they're brightly colored. Just like little marshmallow fluff balls. Hmm, I wonder what wrecks or treasures I'll end up finding today. I don't know why the fuck I did that accent. <laughs> I will never do that again. <laughs> Thanks, you friend! Wah! You scared the life out of me!
His friend Lotus was told Lotus was one who pick who pick up message of Nira Nira. Nira Nira won't say thanks for that. Y you're welcome, I guess. Nira Nira might have jumped the gun there. Sorry to scare you like that. You see. Oh, I get it now. So you're the one who wrote that need help message. Is what Nira Nira said at start. Is thanks to Lotus that Nira Nira get help. Many thanks. Heh <laughs> it's fine really. I was a little excitable myself when I first found that sign. But shame about that annihilation event, eh? It must have been it must have really derailed your investigation. Oh, it not derail. Viewings of ruined landmark is duty of Nira Nira. Before I get to ask, what's all this business about investigations and duties? You see, friend, job of Nira Nira is to make world map. Oh, really? Only, there's so many event of annihilation that keep on happening. And to make proper world map, Nira Nira had to travel many sites of annihilation events. So you're a cartographer then? I had heard of a Nopon doing surveying before. It would explain why he's so fixated on finding landmarks. But, like, doesn't all that map making go to waste right after the terrain goes and changes itself up? It's as friends say. When little piece of world fall away, little piece of heart of Nira Nira fall away too. However, as Specky friend taught Nira Nira, there are also things that never fall away. Huh, stuff that doesn't vanish? Landmark and world that still remain. So, Nira Nira, continue to record Landmark. Continue to battle Event of Annihilation. I see your logic here. Better to carry on with a positive attitude rather than bemoan about amending previous Landmarks. Event of Annihilation never erase romance of Nira Nira. I don't get what you mean by romance. What is it to you? To Nira Nira, it's sparkling feeling of thrills and excitement. Essence of romance is, perhaps goal will never be achieved. Perhaps an end will have been meaningless gesture. But for a brim with thousand fiery sons of passion to try anyway, that is whole point of romance. Wowzers, I don't really know what you're on about, but I can tell you're real fired up. Yes, near and near a fiery hot all over. Yeah, and when you get served a piping hot delicacy, you just gotta do it justice and scarf it down before it cools, right? Lotus totally get near and near. Near and near so thankful. Um, I can't even tell the crocking, <laughs> crocking. I can't even tell if they're talking at cross purposes or here or not here. But it looks like Lotus understands near and near on the level of emotions at least. The feeling that you don't know if what you do will suffice, whether or not you'll make it. But you still try with the passion of a thousand suns anyway. Tyon, can you make sense of this? I can't quite answer that at the moment. But I hope that Sunday I can understand feelings like that and be fired up by them in the same way. That was a little bit more elaborate at the end than I was expecting, actually. And we got some... Oh, the Nopon caravans are completely done. That was the last quest we needed for them. That's nice. Fantastic. Uh, I think with that done, though... It looks like we got to go take care of... Oh boy. We got to go take care of an inescapable past. All the way over in... Well, let me check this real quick. Oh, cool. We got this. More affinity for calling Mew. And something for her as well. Fantastic. Uh, I need to go get that serious anemone as well. I'll do that off screen. I'm just trying to make sure that I get every single one of the uh, the Collectopedia cards done as well. If you if you wondered why I never finish games, or at least I don't finish them for a while, it's because I try to 100% them. But because this is a this is a let's play kind of, then I kind of don't focus on getting 100% on camera. I'll do quests and stuff that 
are unnecessary off screen grinding various other things, you know. I should also make sure that everyone's characters and everything everyone's characters everyone's classes and everything still have some levels to go up. As soon as Sena gets to level 10, I'll probably change off. So, I guess I should mention what happened with Alexandria. Alexandria wants to hold a conference uh, with all of the major colonies in the area uh, to focus more on distribution of goods and other things like that. But, um... I believe she, in particular, wanted to come over here and talk with Colony 30 about things, but because they've fought in the past, uh, she was apprehensive of doing so until we volunteered to come with. This... this is all just so over the top! Yes, though mainly your reaction. Ah! Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting. Hey, pal. How you doing? Not too shabby, I suppose. Riku, Chief. Manana. Friend Baldi! Manana missed friend! He was here like two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. No need to be shy, Chief. I envy you your energy levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Thank you. And yes, I'm pretty good. Um, who's this? <laughs> She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Oh, you're Antique Sandria. Antique Sandria? No. It's Alexandria, actually. It would honor me greatly if you'd remember. Alexandria. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. This will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I myself, not so much. Hey now. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't. Especially yours. Damn, get fucked. I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. You're a credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard even a little? Yeah, she definitely is more of the warring colony type. Why would I? We have no reason to fight. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. Hey, got her there, though. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do, right, Alexandria? Yes, of course. Sorry about that. Readjusting my seat. All right, then. Let me show you around. There's lots of stuff on the ground, so you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends. Feel free to look around. They're low on ether because of the work on Doric. That's such a valdy thing to happen. I love it. Everywhere I turn, there's hard-working knop on. <laughs> oh, they're not working. They're just doing their own thing. Yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? They snooze when they're sleepy and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Still, they look quite busy. What might they be making? So, just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger levels, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. Actually, the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many features on one levelness, then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling, so to get out of the cycle. All right, calm down now. <laughs> wow. Huh? But I was calm. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> <clears throat> this new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Oh, hey, do you want to work with us? We've just been looking for team members for Project Bingo. Bingo? 
It's what I'm calling this new mod. I was thinking about it, and when I figured it out, it was like, bingo. So we named it that. Sounds great. I spend lots of time thinking about stuff, too. So I'd love some hands-on experience to really improve and... Gumbert. By which, of course, I mean... Do you have any units in a state closer to completion? I'm sure I do. I just made friends with one such unit recently, in fact. What do you mean, friends? Oh, boy. Here we go. I'll introduce you. She's in the hangar over there. These are my babies. This is this is like the <laughs> this is Valdi we're about. Yeah, this is the I'm just going to try and push him forward. I can't push him forward, damn. Okay, we didn't have to walk very far. This is like when you walk into a car nut and he's just like this is my baby. She's got six tier transmission fucking 98 million horsepower. There's a fucking device in the center console that allows me to blend my own smoothies and this is all this dumb shit. It's just like, I don't understand you, but you're passionate, so good for you. <laughs> Damn, that thing's cool as hell. I want one. Wait, wait, wait. Robo body is a friendly. Purple. Robo buddy. <laughs> it's this little one's name. Where'd she pick it up? Oh, she was strolling about outside. Damn. She must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have to go and drag it in? It doesn't treat Kevesi as hostiles. Or does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? But why would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here. And she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. Well, I guess I dabble, but... There's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's why I started tinkering with those that I do. First, the question of how Agni and Autolevs operate autonomously. I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it, but if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Wait, wait, back up. Are you saying you can control it? Well, it's not that precise, really. But at least we're friends now. Right? <laughs> Is this for real? If they actually succeed at implementing this at scale... Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. Valdi, what are you having RoboBuddy do? Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? No flipping way. I would never. She's not for fighting. I made friends with her to stay friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Your friend seems to have other plans. Why? No use debating it. Ready arms. No. Why do I have to fight Robo Buddy? Robo Buddy, no. This is the saddest moment in Xenoblade history. No. I'm gonna fucking pulverize you. Jesus Christ, I'm 20 levels higher than you, Robo Buddy. Absolute mess. Robo buddy. Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Look at the Collectopedia card. Ah, you said so that's why she came here. Your new levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, you'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think about that? Oh, you're right. 
This isn't what I asked for. But uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? Because she made them. I asked her to. I figured it might help. And it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Uh, someone on Team Bingo? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, RoboBuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say, it must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular note is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. When mixed in with food, they're nearly unnoticeable. Well, someone's well read. Our console had some shady hobbies. Any like to talk? So, what would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration, dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis, and in more severe cases. Ugh, enough, enough. Oh, fantastic. I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? A okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. All right then. I'm sorry to use your friend like this. Looks like the friendship part might have all been in my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. Alexandria? You've been looking sad all this time. Hmm? Is something the matter? Anything we could help with? Yeah, get to the root of the matter. And I hate it. Alex? Did you hear me? Oh, interesting. It's nothing. You don't have to worry. She was secretly hoping that there wouldn't be any underlying nefarious uh, downside to this and that it could just end up being uh, a simple guy that loves Levnesses, just trying to do the best for technology right. but analysis is complete you can unpack the data whenever fortunately seems someone Good job, doesn't want it to be Why nice wait here commander I trust I can leave my man with you huh I thought I'd be going with you but there may be other machines like Robo buddy you're the only one who can tell them apart let's tackle both threads simultaneously yeah okay I'll stay in the colony this time then Give Robo Buddy's boss my regards. All right. Looks like we got to go follow some tracks. Probably out of, yeah. Wait, we're following scent? I thought that she said that the materials were scentless. I guess there's some scent on RoboBuddy that we're following. Well, didn't think I'd be doing this in the game again. But it looks like your opinion on this. It's mostly aligned with yours. There's something else going on here. Well, that was very, very informative, Tyon. <laughs> that, uh, that definitely gave us a bigger view on the picture and something that we could potentially expect in the future. Thank you very much for your input there. <laughs> uh, I can't ever... I feel like sometimes I just can't ever speak in a succinct and easy to understand way just happens sometimes one of the reasons why I used to script a bunch of my old videos I suppose I have no plans currently to make anything larger in scale I don't know I just don't have any creative juices at the moment for stuff like that I suppose if I came across some sort of inspiration, I could think about doing something like that, but once again, gotta learn how to use the software properly for editing. Damn, we are really heading this way, huh? 
quite a ways. This is going to take the rest of the video just to get to this point. Bro, I'm not fighting these guys. Damn, it goes up? How did it climb? Excuse me? This is ridiculous. I kind of want to see a Levinus climb now. Potato. My favorite. Salty cabbage. Wow, we are really just taking a bit, aren't we? A little bit laggy up here. Maybe it's my switch that's dying. I don't know. Hope not. Got plenty of games left to play on the switch. This year. Nothing much else in the video game department to talk about, though. I mean, there's, like, a couple of rumors going around. Atlas and Spike Chunsoft said that they're going to announce major titles this year. Multiple major titles this year. So, we'll see what that has to do with anything. Um, what else was there? I mean, rumors of the Switch Pro. They were basically saying that the Switch Pro was cancelled during 2020. It's nothing. And that they're just going to develop the Switch sequel instead. But, I mean, I think we probably already knew that. I kind of devised that as soon as... I mean, that that was pretty much confirmed to me as soon as they decided to do Mario Kart DLC. Instead of make a new Mario Kart game. That was, yeah, that was kind of the nail in the coffin. It's just like, well, absolutely. If they're going to release a new Mario Kart now, you're going to get... Oh, it looks like we're here. You're gonna get a... You're not gonna get a new console, you're just gonna get a enhancement, but... This is where the logs run out. Let's search the surroundings. Yep. Nintendo knows that Mario Kart is a great bundle with new consoles, so... They're gonna wait to make a Mario Kart 9 until then. Looks like we need to clean our clothes again. Jesus Christ, we're dirty. No, hold on. Past there is... Oh, hey, Robo Buddy. Pew! Where's Alexandria? <laughs> oh, a console! I didn't for a minute dream you'd fall for the oldest trick in the book. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? I know that screech. It's the console from Valdez. You know, I forgot that we if didn't I kill you. I'd be a human. The guy's fortune had this time. Hey, I'm still talking here. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. How primitive can you get? You didn't really think you'd fooled me. No. Uh oh. Hit her arm. Looks like. I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh, so you do have two brains to have. Everything's going numb. <laughs> I see. Interesting. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the water supply, you see. You're after Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raids. You worm. However, seeing as you're here, I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal. 
and see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned. Act of betrayal. <laughs> uh oh. Backstory. Mother, stop spewing your idiot lies. Oh dear, you haven't told your friends. Well then, I guess they're no friends of yours. <laughs> Why does his mask look like a viewfinder? Damn, so she's secretly evil? He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. He wasted men and resources. Clung to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, Iota would surely have collapsed. Oh, how crazy! How ghastly! Never knowing when one might die once. I'm able to trust your friend. <laughs> I go so far as to say they lost their trust in me. That's right. And so, I'm not asking you to trust me. Oh, he's got a tail. Looks like we're gonna have to fight the Robo Buddy and we're gonna have to fight him at the same time. Oh, two of them. Oh, that's right. There were two of them, weren't there? Let me demonstrate in quick order. This might be a little bit tricky, actually. Let's focus attacks and listen to this banging music. Oxen, huh? Daze that bitch. I gotta make sure to focus on everyone's health as well. All right, there's one down. days. We don't have anything to give us burst, unfortunately, so we can't finish the combo. He 
evasion down. And target lock. Boom, got the days. Heard a bit of interesting dialogue in there. Alexandria standing up for herself. Ah yes, Mobius Q. I, I I thought about it for a minute here after I was fighting it for a while. I was like, I still haven't made a list of all of the Mobius that we've fought so far. So it becomes difficult to remember. Uh, exactly who's still alive and who's not. Especially because there's so many different storylines. And there's so many different Mobius. I'm assuming that because they're named after letters, there's 26 of them, but I don't know how they would translate that properly. Unless they are like that in Japanese as well, and they use the English language lettering system. Boom. Attack down and something locked on there. Oh, this guy's so fucked. Yeah, there's no saving you, buddy. Jamming missed, huh? That's what that move is. You know what? Let's get rid of him. Delete him. Uh, during chain attack increases critical rate by 27. Absolutely do that. Uh, break. You don't have topple. She does, though. Topple. I'll take that. Nice. And she got the kill. Let's see. Unblockable. Yippee. Buff TP. Damn, all the way up to that. Let's get the days. Point limit, and then Alexandria, go ahead. One eighty-eight. Heck yeah. Got two back. There's Lons. Ugh. Do that damage, Uni. Let's see. Nice. Got the critical rates there. That probably won't do anything. But it did heal, which is nice. And then lastly, let's do this again. Oh, really? 98? That's all we got? That sucks. Oh well, she'll come back in a second. Oh my god, she has 98. That's insane. Uh, I suppose we do this. Jesus. That's so much. Uh, one random buff. Critical rate up. Nice. 
And then lastly, let's do this. Back critical rate. Really? Only one hit? <sighs> now I know why I was picking the bottom one, huh? Oh, get in there. Oh my god, that actually looks like it would hurt more now. <laughs> Nice. Hey, we got over a million that time. Uh oh. Don't you dare fall, you son of a bitch. I didn't know he had a rocket fist. That's pretty cool. I see a blind spot. Yeah, right behind you. Let me go! You have to, or you... Alex, you said it yourself. You were counting on us. <gasps> this here's my friend. So back off! Uh-oh. Lucky seven. What is this? Don't swindle. Yeah, uh, you're not surviving from that. Speaking of, I really haven't what used the lucky know? seven since <laughs> since we fought. Um The Queen, the fake queen of Agnes. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Probably. <laughs> Probably. What? On what basis? Well, I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. Please don't frighten me like that. But why? How can you do those things? You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? I'm telling you, we count on one another. That's how we've learned to do it. Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I think there's something rather elegant at the heart of it. So that's what you call strategy? I swear, you Ouroboros must be the most peculiar people I've met. Too peculiar to trust? If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Right back at you. Let's get hmm. to Baldi. He's probably getting worried. Hey, your console's finally dead. You don't have to worry about that. All right. Back to one last scene with Valdi. And then maybe the technology summit will go off without a hitch? They do have to tell him about where the poison is stored, though. That's one last thing that needs to be tightened up. Hey, welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. Hey, Alex. About that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. You want to stay here, don't you? How did you know? The Nuphon are staring. <laughs> of course they are. Well then, Valdi, what would you say if I propose a temporary staff exchange? Gambert, for one of your mechanics? Play Malix. Really? I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. All right, sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. Hey, Alex. What's... Uh, what's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah, ah. Never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations between our colonies. What do you mean, better? We're already fast friends. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. 
Gamble, come on. There we go. I'll introduce you to everyone. Good for you, Alex. Now. Hey, hang on. Well, that's one thing taken care of. Right. About that. We won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court martialed for it at this point. For the record, though, I can't say I approve of your methodology. Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone. Got it? That's reassuring. That's <laughs> reassuring, huh? That is, since we're friends now and all. for saving me earlier I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner you really didn't have to it would have eaten at me if I didn't I have to say I thought you were more chill than that Alexandria <laughs> Aww, she's actually kind of a sweetheart ain't she what are, are you making fun of me it's just a bit of friendly banter you'll get used to it in no time so she's learned how to open up a little good for her Lovely. And hey, we got two we got two ascension quests done. Some relationships changed. In low on ether because of the work on Doric. Had such a valdy thing to happen. Doesn't it make you a bit jealous? He pours so much of himself into doing what he loves. We heard a bit of that earlier, but I just wanted to let that play out and finish. I like the little character dialogues. Uh, but yeah, we are now, I think we're completely done with her quest line and everything. Um, can I clean my clothes? Does it say I can clean my clothes at any of these? I'm just trying to go to a camp, clean my clothes. And then get ready for whatever's next on the quest list. Just go right down the uh, right down the list. Here we go. Clean the clothes. Ah, fantastic. I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. And you go to the quests, and it looks like next is Isard. Looking to refresh himself, Isard sets out in search of something called a spa. Go to the city to find out more. So we need to, uh, we need to find a spa for Isard. And it looks like we might be able to finish Teach's Teachers now as well. So Colony Gamma can get finished. And there's, a uh, probably something to do with the, uh, the talking point we have at a camp as well for him. But yeah. And then it looks like after that we gotta go do... Triton's quest, which is very interesting because his colony in particular just has not had anything to do. I mean, there's not even anyone there at the moment. So, we're, we're getting to the end here. We're running out of quests to pick up, uh, which means we might be done with the game in the next 10 parts or so. I'd say probably. Hopefully hopefully we don't end it on 69, but I mean, I'd say within 10 parts we will probably be done with the game, which is very exciting, which means that we'll probably get it done before Fire Emblem comes out. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part when we go and take on Effervescent Heart, Esurd's Ascension Quest. Bye-bye.